During the fourth week of 2014, influenza activity remained high in the United States, but we're continuing to see a decline in the percentage of outpatients presenting with an influenza-like illness. This number declined for the fourth consecutive week, indicating that we've likely experienced the peak of influenza season on a national scale. And hopefully, we'll see the number of cases continue to decline in the coming weeks. The 2009 H1N1 influenza A virus continues to be the predominant circulating strain, and the percentage of viruses being found resistant to antivirals continues to be very low. There are a few pieces of data that I found to be particularly interesting this season. First, the highest rates of hospitalization due to influenza occurred in adults aged over 65 years, followed by those within the age range of 50 to 64 years old. Young children aged 0 to 4 years old account for the third highest age group requiring hospitalization due to influenza infection. Second, there are several underlying medical conditions that seem to be associated with hospitalization following influenza infection. Among hospitalized adults, the most commonly reported underlying conditions were obesity, metabolic disorders, and heart disease. For young children, the most commonly reported underlying medical conditions have been found to be asthma, neurologic disorders, and cardiovascular disease. Although these underlying conditions have been associated with a high percentage of hospitalizations, over 40% of children requiring hospitalization this influenza season had no identified underlying medical condition, emphasizing that this illness can strike patients of any age and make individuals very ill regardless of their prior medical history. In the region, influenza is still categorized as widespread in Minnesota, although the percentage of patients seen with an influenza-like illness in outpatient clinics dropped in week four compared to the prior week. Although we're starting to see the number of cases of influenza drop both in the Midwest and nationally, the Minnesota Department of Health reported that the number of samples testing positive for RSV continues to increase. RSV is another important respiratory virus that can impact both children and adults and healthcare providers should be aware that RSV is also circulating in the population and can cause very similar symptoms as influenza.